Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So recently I did some shopping and I have some stuff to unbox for us. I got some crazy products that I don't think any of you are prepared for. So before we kind of get into things, I do want to announce our giveaway. So we've hit a thousand subscribers. We're gonna do a specific like celebration video probably next week, but I do want to get this giveaway started. So I am giving away three $100 McCart gift cards. Every time I do a giveaway, I'm always someone who's like, okay, what can I give to help someone like get started? Just cause McCart was kind of where I got started. And then one lucky winner is gonna get this box. It's in a Kiara Sky box, just ignore that. But I kind of over time, just like every time I get like PR that's like a duplicate um, or something that I already have, I put it in and we call it the duplicates box. And it really just has everything you're gonna need to get started. It has things like poly gel, gel polish, it has a mini lamp. I'm gonna give out that and that'll be separate from the gift card winners. So even if you don't get a gift card, you might get the duplicates box and I am so excited to just kind of like give back and, and help y'all get started. I wanna briefly talk about the requirements. So I'm gonna make a form for y'all to fill out. All you have to do is just follow me on Instagram. That's kaiju underscore nails. And that, I think it'll just have you put your handle in and then probably like, I'll probably just message the winners over Instagram. That's kind of it, I think. I really just wanna make sure that like, y'all here on YouTube are seeing my stuff on Instagram and Cause that's just another way to like vibe with me and I really just wanna share my content with y'all. So with that, I'm really excited and let's get into it. So recently I discovered Nails by Becky. Love them, icon. And they had created this like spray on ombre, which was just like, that, that sounds crazy. It looked crazy. I was like, I need this right now cause it's gonna change my life. So. Shout out to the marketing for Nails by Becky. <laughs> I went on their website, did a whole bunch of shopping. I kind of forgot what I ordered and they were kind enough to send some additional stuff. They messaged me personally. Becky is so nice. Definitely go check out their Instagram. I'm gonna leave everything linked below. I also don't really have a plan just cause I don't really know what we're getting into. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Okay, peep the packaging. Becky with the good nails, I'm obsessed. What is this? This looks pretty, I don't wanna mess it up. This is like, I mean, thumbnail moment. This is like giving like Hermes. Like this is so pretty. <gasps> Becky! Okay, I have to open this, this like briefcase up. I don't know, the packaging, the thought, like the detail, I'm like, ah, this is amazing. We have our invoice here. We have the full collection of One Step Ombre Mist System, 12 colors. We have the Psychedelic Mirror Chrome Raw Pigment, 11 shades. The Japan Needle Liner Brush, set of four. The Super Matte Top Coat. And then we also have the Icy Chrome Raw Pigment Full Collection. Um, and then I think she also just included some base coat for us, um, which was just so nice of her to do that. We have swatch-like things. I don't know what these are called. I gotta get organized because there's so much going on here. Let's take a look at these brushes. These are so cool. So this is the Japan Needle Liner 3 millimeter. Oh, what? I can't even see that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That is the tiniest brush I think I've ever seen. It's so small. Can we focus? It is like, that's the brush right there. That's crazy. I have never seen a brush that small. This next one is the nine millimeter. Again, so thin, but just a little bit longer. And that's one thing I've been meaning to invest in is like a set of good like liner brushes. Like I have liner brushes that are fun and cute and can do the job, but nothing like this. This is the 15 millimeter. And then we have our 20 millimeter. Super excited to try these out. Oh my God. And they're just like so pretty. All right, back to this. I think there's some things in here that I don't know what they are. So we have our swatches. We already looked at those. She gave me a buffer, which is super cool. We did order a top coat. We'll have to try that out. What is this? Cause I don't know what 
this stuff is because I don't think I ordered these. This looks like a, a tool brush chrome powder on, which never seen one that looks like this. I got a 5D carving gel. I'm not gonna open it, but it looks like, actually, well, maybe we will open it. Oh, it's just clear, so nothing nothing crazy. We've seen carving gel. Um, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, maybe it's another like rubbing tool. And maybe like this stuff comes with the, one of these kits. I'm not sure. I know I, I didn't order the carving gel or this. This looks like cuticle softener, which I've never used, which we might, actually I think we will. And you'll get a little insight into my prep today. Here is all of the chrome powder we got. We are gonna swatch these individually after we unpack everything. This is the Icy Chrome raw pigments and these are just very like icy a lot of it looks like white with like a lot of different shimmers in there so that'll be fun and then this is the psychedelic one and these have some crazy colors now this is our big ticket item these are spray on ombres and like I have never seen anything like this in my entire life um did she include glitter ones she might have I, I think she was just throwing stuff in there. That is so nice. Um, and this looks like the base coat. I'm sorry, I don't want to rip the packaging, but we're gonna. Oh yeah, so this is professional multifunction. It just says UV and LED soak off. I'm assuming it's a base coat. It doesn't say. That's fine. Um, let me take everything out here. And we are also gonna swatch these. I think I need to practice with them because I have no idea how to use them. Okay, and I just wanted to check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I will say the kit that I got is 12 colors, but I have 21 bottles here. Not sure what happened. And I just wanna make it clear, like even if Becky did send me some extra stuff, like I still paid for this. The total itself was $525.72. I do love supporting small businesses. If these are extras, like, again, Becky, thank you so much. I just wanna make sure that that's clear so that when y'all order this, it might be a little bit different. Or I think some of these glitter ones here are extra just cause I think there is like a separate collection for the glitters. What it actually is, is like a powder in a spray bottle. I don't know how you get a powder in a spray bottle and get it to spray like real cute, but you spray it onto something wet, like a base coat or a top coat, and it just creates these like flawless ombres. So I do need to open them up. I think we can do some swatching. I think we'll first swatch our like icy chrome powders. I think I'm gonna try to use this little tool cause this is cute and I've never really seen anything like it. While they don't have shade names, they are numbered from one to 10. So we'll kind of just do them in order. Hard, it's really hard to see, but it is there. Okay, we're trying something different. I put a white base. That you can see better. Still challenging to see, but it is there. I think a lot of these, I mean, just based off the collection name, everything's gonna be very like icy and, and light. So they might be just a little challenging to see. Oh, that one showed up crazy. Here is the Icy Collection. I hope it's reading on camera. And it definitely is that, like, Icy. Really liking it. I love the blue ones, because those actually just, to me, like, look like straight up ice. Yeah, these are super cute. These are gonna be, I think, your more, like, toned down chromes, simpler sets, but these are very cute. For the psychedelic set, I'm gonna put them on a black background, just because I think that'll probably look better. And I like to see the difference. Okay, yeah, that is sick. Also, these ones don't really have any like numbers or names. They have numbers, but they're like, it's like a serial number. So I'm just gonna kind of do them in any order. And I will say everything is sealed, which is awesome, love that. Nothing exploded on the way over. Wow, 
All right, well, here are all of the chromes. I am definitely someone who's gonna gravitate towards like the crazy colors, and these are so pretty. I hope y'all can see like how these are looking. See, I think if I angle them like that, you can really see it. And there's, there's just nothing on these two, so just ignore them. But really happy with these. I definitely have some like more standard colors to work with, and then when I wanna be like wild and crazy, like these are so cool. All right, <laughs> I made a whole bunch of white swatch sticks, and then we have one black one just because we have a white and we're not gonna be able to swatch white on white. I'll show you a couple, and then I'll just show you all the swatches at once, um, just cause I feel like we'd be here forever. So Becky does recommend using her base coat. Well, let's try this out. I like the consistency of this base coat. It's a little thicker. First color we'll do will be lemon pie, and we're supposed to kind of just spray it on. Oh, God. Wait, why is that like creating a super cute ombre? Well, because it's designed to. That was so easy. It, it does spray dust. So we might want to put down some paper towels. All right, let's try another one. I think it was like Becky's Instagram or something. Trying different angles and like pressure uh, will create different effects. So that's something I think we might just have to practice with. All right, let's try Cosmic Cobalt. I wanna try a glitter one. So let's try Jade Jewel. Oh gosh, <laughs> kind of just sprayed every everywhere. Um, definitely, you know, a learning curve. All right, here are the first three. I think these two, awesome. This, it, I, I think I just need to practice with it. But these colors are really vibrant. Let me just quickly kind of swatch everything together and then we'll go through the colors themselves. Okay, here are all of the colors we have and I tried just doing like different ombres and different like shapes and stuff. So in order from left to right, uh, my left being this side, we have Lemon Pie, Cosmic Cobalt, Jade Jewel, Arctic White, which is on the black, Lime Taffy, Glass Sapphire number two, Hot Toddy, Blue, or Breezy Blue, Vitamin C. We have Black Magic, which is just the black ombre on the white. Kaleidoscope, uh, Love Potion, Eternal Elegance, Candy, Candy, Cherry Hush, I don't know why I can't read. Then we have Peach Potion, Orchid Lane, Powder Rose, California Wine, what does that say? Romantic Poetry, Mirabella, and then Angelic Blue. Let me pull out some of like my best ombres of the bunch. Here are some of my best ombres. Love the glitter ones. Once I kind of, you know, got a little bit better hang of them, super into them, and I, I think they would also just look great under like other colors. This black and white one turned out really good. Yeah, I'm like really kind of obsessed with these and really excited to play with them. But we can kind of get into our nails now. So uh, let me get ready for that. So I want to try this cuticle softener. There's not really any direction, so I'm not sure like how long to put it on. I mean, I've seen people do this before. Now what I usually see is like while it's kind of working into things is to just like try to scrape things up. I'm definitely scraping some stuff up on my nails. I think I just needed to let it sit a little bit longer. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I am gonna use our 5XL stiletto tips today. I think the design I have planned is gonna be very kind of like punk and like avant-garde. So let's size these out real quick. I have these all sized and I think we're gonna just use our Savvy Lane gel to put these on.
and we can flash cure that. This one had a little excess. We've been doing good with just trying to find the right amounts. Now, my pinky, I always kind of have to hold it while I flash here because my pinky is crooked. We have our tips on. Those are looking great. I do want to clean up the cuticles and the shape. So let's do some filing. These are filed in shape. I do want to put down a little bit of base coat just to really make sure things are smooth because chrome powder is gonna show every little lump and bump. So we want to start off with a really good canvas. Let's get some black on, cause I want these to look crazy. Ugh, y'all ever like spend too much time and energy on your cuticles. I mean, I don't think there's ever enough time and energy spent on cuticles, but I am like holding my breath trying to get these and I feel like it should be simpler. I think my second favorite type of nail is gonna be black nails right after clear, just because they are so witchy and punk and love it. Ooh, these are looking witchy. So, let's see what we're gonna do next. I think we can do our ombre. So, I'm gonna pull out our base coat. I wanna see how this, this is I think the closest we really have to like a red. I think it is actually just red. But um, it is hotty toddy, and I think this will probably look great over the black. I find that doing like a couple of like, like when you first get them, do a couple of like initial pumps just to get the like powder like in there and ready just onto some kind of paper towel or something because it will spray everywhere. But I find that that helps. Let's first do our thumb. And the ombre is gonna be the same for really everything. Um, I'm just gonna do, you know, the lower half. I feel like I use a lot of powder. Granted, it seems like there might be a lot in here, so. And now, of course, I, the powder did like get on the other nails, so I just wanna clean them off. But that is cute, like a cute little red and black. I'm gonna put down a mat, just cause that'll probably just make cleanup a little bit easier. I'm gonna do the same for the middle and pinky, so let's do that real quick. Lay our base coat down. I do really like this base coat. Always into like thicker gels,
All right, for our printer and ring finger, I wanna make them fully chrome, and then I wanna try to do an ombre on top of them. So, uh, we gotta put down some top coat. This is a McCart bottle that I've just refilled. I don't really know what is in here, but I know it works good with chrome. All right, I'll show you the cap, but this is kind of the like reddish orange that we're gonna be using. Yeah, this chrome powder is nuts. Oh, that is so cute. So we'll use our black ombre mist. This is black magic. And we'll kind of just do the same pattern, but it'll look a little bit like reversed. And I think that'll be really cool. We'll put a base coat down. I don't know if you can see that, the way it like just fades into nothing. That slayed so hard. Okay, I'm like getting really excited about this. Like, yeah, like look at the difference between if I can, ah, yeah. Ah! Oh yeah, and see, I didn't even make like a huge mess that time. Like you can see a little bit of the black. It's, you know, a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, it kind of like, oh, my hair. <laughs> I think we are gonna try Becky's carving gel because I'm very interested in this and I wanna see what this is about. And I have a cute design planned for us. Like any kind of solid gel is something I always just wanna like touch and play with, but I'm not allowed. I've been seeing a lot of like abstract kind of designs. So I'm really interested in doing something like that. And now I wanna take this like gold. Can we focus please? Thank you. This is like a gold and I think it has like a, a little like green duochrome in there. Okay, I'm gonna do another top coat. Okay, I went and put some black under it and I'm liking it a lot better, uh, our little golden nugget. But I think what we need to do is matte top coat everything before we move on. Look at the ombre like under the wet top coat. That's crazy. <gasps> oh, I am into this matte top coat. That is, ah, Becky, you're killing it with the products. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited to see what this chrome is gonna look like under the matte top coat. These are looking really cool. I wasn't sure how I was feeling with like the chrome on the mat, but I think with all of the mat, it's looking like really cool. And I think probably uh, like the studio lights are crazy. So it'll probably look like, okay, yeah. See, you can see the, the like shimmer or whatever it is, like when you do that. So I think in the sunlight, it'll probably just look crazy. I want to get our little like nugget on and this is going to be the only shiny part of the uh set and it's going to go right on our middle finger cure it before it moves <sighs> i'm going to take a liner brush not the new ones because i think they're actually too small for what i want to do probably this matte top coat and really just like reinforce the underside of that Next thing I'm gonna do is a little crazy. Um, 
And usually you, y'all know, if y'all see this drill bit, we're gonna be making some holes and things. And we have our rings, so let's pull these out. Now I wanna do this without putting a hole in my finger. Three rings and I just need like some extras. We need to open these up and I think the best way to do it is like this, because I can't find my pliers. Okay. <laughs> I need to carefully put some holes in my nails. That could have gone way worse, I feel like. Oh yeah, that is gonna look crazy. If I'm careful, I can do it with this tool. I don't know what these are. Like, all right, and here are our three rings. <gasps> this looks so cool. Let me do this now real quick. All right, and oh, well, let me zoom out just a little bit. This is the final look. This is so cool. They're so like punk and I'm super into it. I love our little like gold coin. I think that's hilarious. And these turned out better than I thought. They were making me a little nervous and it's, you know, if you don't look too closely, um, just cause it's a little rough around the holes. But other than that, I think these turned out so cool. My hair, <laughs> every time it just goes everywhere. I need a haircut so bad. But final thoughts, I'm obsessed. I think this is the coolest thing ever. I think the chrome powders are sick. And it like, there's products for everyone. Like whether you want some of those softer chrome powders, like I'm sure some of those icy ones would look crazy over like a pink. I just need to like learn how to swatch things. And of course, like the psychedelic collection is nuts. I'm. Really excited to try out those brushes when we get a chance to do some gel art. And this is the craziest thing I've ever tried. Like, if you're a nail tech, just go get this. It's gonna make your life so easy. I have never had ombres this smooth. Like, ah! Uh, like, look at that. But the products themselves are, are just so cool and innovative and I can't wait to see like what I'm able to actually do with it. So Becky, you did that and I'm obsessed. So definitely go check their stuff out. I'll leave it linked below. Also go follow me on Instagram and just keep a lookout for updates on our giveaway. But if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I think we got it.